Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Extras. Today is day number 28 of Daily December on this channel, which means it's been four weeks. Four weeks! We're almost there! Uh, today we're going to be talking about MTC if there was no Dream SMP members on any of the teams, which I don't think has happened before. Uh, aside from maybe if the Dream SMP didn't exist yet when MCC was around, but that doesn't count. Um, this one has no Dream SMP members, I think. I, I looked it up on, and on the wiki, all the all the member lists people, I took them out and, and I, I used everyone else who was there. This also has some people who are not officially MCC players yet, but they probably will be at some point in the future. Also, you might be wondering, why do you have Animagician opened up? He's going to be the, the team blocker for today because I was too lazy to make a Photoshop document with a, a screenshot in it, uh, which takes me like one minute. Either way, uh, I just made these uh, literally like two minutes ago and um and we're gonna go through them so let's start uh first team you're gonna you're gonna already notice something fire ref bed he's not a player that's the first example of someone who's not officially a player yet but or i mean we we don't know officially but he he's probably a player either way um yeah shane with hermits worked last time uh he's got impulse who he's already teamed with before i think he's talked with scar i don't know if he knows Gorean, probably not uh, either way, a uh, pretty awesome team. Uh, these teams are also probably somewhat balanced. They're not going to be ex exactly balanced, um, especially because of the blue team, which you can probably guess what it is. Um, but uh, I tried a little bit. <laughs> I probably didn't do a great job at balancing, and I also don't really care because these teams aren't actually happening. Either way, uh, next team, Orange. It's a Vault Hunters team, I'm pretty sure, I think. Uh, Pete... Sparkles, Kara, False, pretty cool team. Uh, it would be False as a solo hermit on the team. I think it should be fine though, because like I said, it's a Vault Hunters team. They should know each other to some extent. Uh, so that's that's Orange. And next up, Yellow. Return of SB737. I saw you guys in the comments being like, another set of teams with no SB, please put him in. Here he is. Uh, and I put him with Joel and, and Lizzie, and then also Pearl. Uh, I think it, I mean, I don't know these people that well, so <laughs> it should work fine, uh, I think. Um, so yeah, that's that's that team. Uh, Lime team, it, Quig, uh, Martin, Cubfan, Solidarity could be a team that's already happened before. I don't know. One thing that you'll notice with the no Dream SMP uh, teams is that they all kind of feel the same, especially because obviously I'm using recurring players. Um, so yeah. This also happens with Dream SMP people, but uh, usually the way pe uh, teams feel different is by mixing Dream SMP people with the rest and then mixing them in a weird way. Like recent Filza teams have been a good example. Um, but yeah, either way. Uh, next up, green team. Uh, it's all women team. Yippee. Uh, Jojo, Sylvie, Shubble, and G. Uh, this team has probably happened to some extent before, maybe with one person not being there. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this team with without uh, Shelby has happened before with someone else. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's green. Cyan team. Uh, personally, I think my favorite team. Uh, Fruit, Harvey, Ollie, and Ludwig. Now, um, Fruit and Ludwig obviously have teamed before. Harvey and Ludwig have kind of teamed before, but Harvey had to like sub out. Uh, Ollie has not teamed with Ludwig before, but it would be a really, really interesting pairing, I think, uh, because obviously uh, Ollie is very funny, he's a very good entertainer, and Ludwig is also a very good entertainer, uh, so that would be really interesting. Uh, Aqua team, oh, I'm going to have to drag him. Um, another one of my favorite teams, uh, at the end of making teams, I swapped a lot of people around, so I don't, I don't really remember the end anymore, but this has uh, Illumina and Krynios returning from their... Teal Turkey team, I'm pretty sure, uh, together with Sneak and Wisp. This team is probably very broken, but I don't care. <laughs> it's a very cool team. Uh, I think originally I also had, like, Fruit. Uh, I, I think I had, like, Wisp instead of Ollie at some point. You could swap them. That is fine, too. Uh, actually, I would swap them. I'll do it at the end when I reveal the other teams. Uh, next up, Simmers. Yippee. Uh, can't really say much about the Simmers. It's the Simmers. Uh, next up, Purple. Uh, Dave, Scott, Finster, and Gemini Tay. This team might be a little odd. I'm not sure. 
Uh, I just had a lot of people spare, and I feel like this could work out pretty well. Uh, I also had Wisp on this team at some point instead of Gem, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if this is balanced at all, because I don't really know how good these players actually are. But yeah, there you go. And uh, finally, Pink Team, which sees Boost for a return, also a very highly requested person to either be a newcomer in quotations or just to see them play again. Uh, together with 5-Up, uh, they're great friends. And then Gumi and Saikuno, I think, uh, would make a, a very interesting team. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, let me just swap these two uh, for the balancing, you know? Um, I, actually, I don't know if that makes any difference. Ali got like 16th on a pretty good team, so this could be like the same. Whatever. Uh, yeah, these are the teams. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I, I think it could be interesting to have an event that is... Uh, an event without Drew and SMP, it is a little odd to do it because it, it, you just exclude a, a big portion of people. Uh, here, this gray one, this one with the text, uh, that's all the Drew and SMP people that could not be in. As you can see, a lot of them are like the big viewership people, which kind of sucks for, for MTC. Um, but there's still some people in here that bring in a lot of viewers, like Green, Scar, uh, there's probably some others. Um, obviously Saikuno would, and Ludwig, but like, yeah, all, like, you miss out on having like Dream, Foolish, Phil, uh, George, Puns, Purpled, Rambu, Sapnap, Charlie, Tommy, Taba, Wilbur, like that's a lot of viewership that you're just not putting in for the sake of just not putting them in. There's still a lot of people left here that are cool to put in too. I would have put in like Ray. But I feel like when you have a non Dream SMP roster, I feel like the community would most want to see just the regular players without Dream SMP rather than seeing them get substituted out for uh, newcomers or returning like one time players. Like I could have put in the entire Cyan team from MCC Underdogs. That would have been really cool. I actually probably would have done that if I had th uh, thought about it. Um, I just realized I forgot to put box box there. But yeah. Um, and, and also. John. There's John. Either way, uh, let me know what you think about the teams. Let me know what you think about a, an idea like this. Personally, I don't really think it should happen because, like I said, excluding people is a little silly. It's already like people already don't like the fact that uh, good players are being excluded from joining the event for the sake of them being good. I think it's a good thing that Scott's doing. Inviting a bunch of good creators, as much as the community would probably like it, it would not be good for the players and for the event. Um, so yeah, let, let me know what you think about the idea, the teams, and uh, anything else. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, we're entering the final days of this challenge. I might continue it in January, but not for long. All right, goodbye.